QuickTime for Windows version 2.1.2 Copyright Notices QuickTime for Windows 2.1.2, Copyright C1993-1996 Apple Computer, Inc. All rights reserved. For more info for more up-to-date information on QuickTime for Windows, check out our website at What's in this document key features minimum PC configuration quick fix for display problems things you need to know modifying QTW Any making movies playable on both Macintosh and Windows key features improved performance and reliability 32-bit QuickTime for Windows 95 and Windows NT 3.51 or later multifunctional 16 30 seconds bit control panels improved installation and uninstallatio End process audio support MIDI music tracks EMA 4 to 1 compressed audio accelerated video support Direct hardware support for graphics accelerators ATI Mach 64 Sang W32P P9000 Cirrus Logic CLGD54XX WD90C33 direct hardware support for video drivers that support 16 or 32 bit display control interface DCI support for burnt and searchable text tracks Support for QuickTime VR for Windows, distributed separately. Support for MPEG file playback via Sigma Design's Real Magic Board. Support for all standard QuickTime decompressors, Apple Graphics, Apple Animation, Apple Uncompressed, Apple Video, Apple Cinepack, Apple Photo JPEG, Indio 3.2 Movie Player application can copy selected portions of text track and current visual to clipboard. 16 and 32-bit QuickTime for Windows can coexist on Win95 and Wint. The Movie Player is an OLE server, enabling QuickTime movies to be placed and played in 16 or 32-bit applications. QuickTime has MCI, Media Control Interface, that provides media integration in applications like Windows Media Player and various multimedia authoring applications. Visual Basic 2.0, 3.0 and 4.0 is supported with a 16-bit VBX file for QuickTime Movie Control. Minimum PC Configuration 386SX at 20MHz 4MB RAM 6MB Hard Disk Space Available VGA or Better Display Card Windows Compatible. Things you need to know 1. 32-bit QuickTime for Windows will not run on Windows 3.1, even if Win32s is installed. 2. When running QuickTime VR, distributed separately, you must use the 16-bit movie player, until a 32-bit QuickTime VR is released. 3. Sigma Designs recently released Real Magic MPEG Driver, version 2.20, as incompatible with QuickTime for Windows. As a workaround on Win 3.1, you can install the old Real Magic Driver, version 2.01, but on Win 95 there is no other version to install. Sigma Designs and Apple Computer are currently working on a solution. 4. The QuickTime for Windows control panel may crash if your computer is using Cirrus Display Driver version 1.23. If this happens, you must upgrade to version 1.24 or later. 5. The game, Critical Path, requires MCI QTW, DRV to be in its directory. When you install QuickTime for Windows 2.1.2 and delete the old version, this file is removed. You must copy MCI QTW DRV from your Windows system directory, usually C Windows system, to CRITPATH QTW for the game to work. 6. The game Redshift requires QTIM DLL to be in its directory. When you install QuickTime for Windows 2.1.2 and delete the old version, this file is removed. You must copy QTIM DLL from your Windows system directory, usually C Windows system, to Redshift QTW for the game to work. Ed. Modifying QTW. Any do not modify QTW. Any by hand. Please use QuickTime's control panel. See above, quick fix for display problems, for the one exception to this rule. Making movies playable on both Macintosh and Windows to make a movie playable on both the PC and the Mac, follow these steps. 1. Open a movie file using Movie Player 2.0 or above on the Macintosh. 2. Choose Save as from the file menu. 3. In the dialog box that appears, click the radio button labeled, Make Movie Self-Contained. 
This tells the utility to sever any links to other movies after incorporating the relevant video into this movie. 4. Select the checkbox label. 